Good evening YouTube. Ignore the hair, it's gone a bit crazy. Um, but last night I thought I should really do a review on this. So I just saw on the House of Harris website last night the, the new selection for April and I looked it up. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. So the new selection for April is from April it is Olive and Thyme, which they say here is a fresh herbal scent from the Mediterranean coast with olive leaves, citrus and musk. So it says here the fragrant notes is run about olive leaf, lemon and orange. So it's going to smell very light, <coughs> lemony and fresh. I've never smelled olive leaf so I'm not really quite sure what that smell like. But that'll probably be a nice one. They've got summer peach, which it says here is peach riper ripe peaches straight from the orchard, warm by the sun, and begging for that thirsty, juicy bite. Probably won't be one for me. It just says it's peach, peach, and it's got a base of musk and vanilla. So I don't know if that one will be for me. I do like vanilla scents, so it's gonna be like peach and vanilla. I'm not a big fan of like fruity smells, so this one I am looking forward to. River Escape, a coastal scent of glittering pomades full, full with hillsides of beautiful blossom glowing in the sun. It says it has a marine kind of smell, uh, floral, seagrass and amber, so they're the main scents in it. So I think it's probably going to be another like beach holiday, which they did this year, well no last year now, god that's crazy. And then the last one is sea salt and sage. Now I think that's going to smell really nice, and I think that'd be really one good one to have if you want to relax or something. It says here, warming and inviting sage mingles with the clean, fresh scent of sea salt, like a relaxing walk along the shore. So the main smells in it are sea salt, sea lavender, blue sage, white amber, and. Yeah, that's about it. But the thing is, the sage is actually the middle scent, so mainly it will be like sea salty, kind of salty smell. I think my beach holiday smells of that, and they're going to bring that out <clears throat> from April, so really excited about that. Um, the jars look beautiful. We've got, let's have a look at them. I never know how to use this. This is River Escape, Summer Peach, Olive and Thyme and sea salt and sage so we've got white green kind of like an orangey pinky color and a lovely blue one i love blues <clears throat> that made my face go a really, really color i'm still working my way through the serenity collection which is what's available from now and that's the pony pinoni my serenity moonlight and lemongrass and ginger so i've lit moongrass Moonlight, really like that, so probably will get that on my list for a large jar to have to burn and a small jar for my collection. <clears throat> and my Serenity, um, so I need to try the other two, so I haven't done that. Um, we've also got information they're going to bring the fragrance spears over to the UK, not that like 100% keen, but they've got the Easter ones coming out now. Um, <clears throat> so Bunny Cakes making a return, which I know is going to be really exciting for some people um it was one of my first candles i haven't got it in my collection anymore because i sold it so i will probably pick it up again because i kind of regret selling that one and i know that my friend my best mate melly will definitely want funny cake and also they're bringing out jelly beans again which i have um there have been a lot of queries on <clears throat> The colour of the egg I've noticed in the Facebook forums, um, it was green last year, the jelly beans egg, and then this year it's pink, but then Yankee Candle in the UK are saying, oh no, it's a misprint, um, but then saying that customer service with Yankee Candle, they don't really know what's coming back and what's going. I think if you want to know more information, probably best check out the Facebook group, which I'm on. And then they do sales and stuff, which is great because you can get some real good bargains of like past scents and you can also search for scents. Now I've been told, I've seen one today, it's a really nice box set which I'll be ordering on payday. 
uh, box set and it's got vanilla cupcake in it I can show you actually so be trying to describe it vanilla cupcake in it bunny cake and jelly beans is coming over here in Voivon that's not the right word but I'm just gonna say it anyway so I'm really excited about that because I didn't have that in the UK last time and everybody went crazy for people to send it over from America um, I'm lucky enough to have a guy in America I use as kind of like my middleman to send me over the American scents because otherwise I feel disappointed um, but I've just made friends with a new wax lady and she lives in America and I'm in the UK so we're going to do a bit of a trade with, Max, uh, with wax melts at the moment I'm sending her across the new spring seasons from the UK which I'm really excited to do I'm also going to shove in a load of other stuff um, so I'm just waiting for them to arrive from House and Harris um, also we've got the Easter egg which everyone's complaining about because it's only six melts but it's around about like 15 quid it all depends on how much of a collector you are like I know people will be like oh you can get six melts for like six quid but I don't know I think it's because it's in the case and it looks lovely so it's up to people whether or not they want to spend it I've also been told happy Easter's coming back don't know if that's true so and then we go off into Pure Essence Collections add-on and then we've got into UK summer uh, 2016 summer winter nights which looks really good we've got dreamy summer sky passion fruit martini and sunset breeze now I think sunset breeze we've had lots of times dreamy midnight which looks like this oops a daisy looks like this I like it just for the picture and I'm a really big fan of blue candles so I'll probably get that in large and then we've got the new simply home collection that comes out every year and also in Clinton's they're doing the Valentine's Trio and I ordered this from America when it came off in sale and I had it and I'm not really a cakey person but they've just bought it out down in Clinton so if you do want it I would go and pre-order it because I know a lot of people have had it coming but I know a lot of people have had a lot of breakages with Clinton's so I really hope that gets sorted out now if you're an American I'll go through their list for this year <coughs> I'm really excited about some of them. I've been told. So this is only 20. Um, yeah, so I've been told that like they're not the most amazing. And I'm picking up all of last year's one, which is a little bit disappointing. Unless they're only 2016 on this page. Which they're probably not. I haven't bought anything from America for a while now um, they had the massive sale on but there was nothing to really tempt me with if that's the right word um, <clears throat> I did want winter woods but that sold out pretty quickly okay so the U the US fragrances for spring I have these at my friend's house in America I just haven't got them shipped over yet so I really need to do that I will probably message him tonight I really want to try them. So we have lime dried cotton, strawberry lemon lice, lemon lice, lemon ice, uh, catching rays, which I like the sound of, April showers, and flowers in the sun. They're all very pretty. I've been told, and it looks like it is confirmed, the Happy Easter, the white chocolate one, is coming back. Well, that's a new one. They haven't done white chocolate before. White chocolate Happy Easter is it's going to appear in Easter this year on the American website and that'll probably be one that I probably get shipped over because <clears throat> I really don't want to miss out on that so there's some summer collection compared to the UK ones they're having Bakery Air, Passion Fruit Martini, Sunset Breeze, Midnight Lilac, Summer Storm, Market Brossoms, Dreamy Summer Nights and Pink Panoni so they've only got one that's very similar to us which is weird normally we get like a, a through crossovers for those <clears throat> I will probably go with I'll show you the picture of them this is market blossom this is another pink one and it looks like it's going to be a floral one we have baby air which is another food one which will probably could be quite nice passion fruit martini I'll pass on because it's a fruit one um, I will probably get this one summer storm I love anything to do with like outside nature that kind of stuff uh, midnight lilac that one again mm, I know it's a floral one but 
I do like lilac. And then we've got Dreamy Summer Nights, which I've told you before. It's sounds like Breeze. And then some others we haven't actually got pictures on. We haven't got any more information than that. So we'll just have to wait and see. So that's my excitement this year. I will probably be getting tart of everyone and any tarts that I actually like, I will probably buy the full jar and the small jar in it. So I don't know what's everybody excited for for the new 2016 Yankee Candle collection. I'm excited for the sea sage and salt water, um, sea salt one because I think that smells really nice. So just to end this video, I'm going to just sort of show some of the of my collection because I haven't done it in a while. So we're going to start. This is a US jar that I got. This is French vanilla. It is a food spice one. I'm not normally a big fan of these. But the smell is amazing. It's a little bit like North Pole, but less. You can definitely smell the vanilla. My cat's outside. I have no idea how she got out. <coughs> so it's a lovely cream colour. It's got a lovely label. Really like that. And then we've got Beach Holiday. This is last year release. It's a UK one. The only one I haven't got to go with this one is Wild Sea Grass. And I thought I had it, but I must have lost it. Uh, there's Beach Holiday. It's a UK one. I absolutely love this one. It's got sea salt in it, which is probably why I like it. It smells fresh. It smells... It smells lovely. So it smells fresh. smells like it's at the beach. Relaxing. Um, next one I have is another fresh scent. I'm a big fan of fresh scents. Uh, this is Honey Glow. As you can see, my oils have escaped down to the bottom. This is a UK one, I'm pretty sure. No, yes, it is a UK one. Honey Glow. <clears throat> I love the colour of it. To fix the problems with colouring down the bottom, I've been told, you leave them upside down and it should, hopefully gravity will do its job. I need to do that for a few of mine, but I'll do that later. It's a really warm smelling candle. I think that would be amazing. I've never melted it actually. I've never had the melt of this. I do collect the wax tart stickers and they go on my sticker door which is weird but at least I can keep track of what I've had uh, this is Chris Morning Air I got this from America it's another fresh one I love the pictures on it see this to me does not smell of Chris Morning Air but I guess the, uh, the aftertaste the after smell does smell a little bit of like you know the freshness when the air hits you but it is, I can actually smell sea salt in that one too. And then, this is probably more for my husband than me. This is a UK one. This is the lemon one. Can you see that? And it's a fruit one. It just smells, it smells like those little fresher sweet teas. I don't know if you have them out in America. But when you, when you smell like a refresher, it smells just like that. Very lemony, very pretty. Um, this one hasn't discoloured, it's kept all its colours. There's a nice yellow one. The favourite out of this collection, let's check this one one more time. Mm. No, I do like that, so I'll probably get that in a tart. That's the crisp air morning air one, I'll get that in a tart. My favourite one has to be Beach Holiday. I burnt this over and over again throughout the summer. Um, I went down to Ashford and I got tarts for like 70p and I got some um, wild sea grass ones for like 25p and so I just burnt them all summer which surprised me that I haven't got wild sea grass to have in my collection. So that'd be one from my list. Oh it's just beautiful. <laughs> so yeah I hope that this video has been somewhat informative. Um, so, just to round up, you've got, at the moment, spring fragrance is available in America. We've got lime dry cotton, strawberry lemon ice, catching rays, flowers in the sun, and April showers, which I will do a review on when I eventually get them through the post. UK releases, you've got Moonlight, which is lovely, My Serenity, Pony, Pony, it's a flower. Didn't smell that amazing through the top, but I'm not a big 
floral scents but if you are a big floral scent you probably like it don't know if it's strong yet because I haven't burnt it I've been burning various other tarts at the moment and then we got lemon and no ginger and lemongrass which I'm really looking forward to because it's really strong um, so I will probably burn that tonight and give you a review so hopefully I should get my spring collection previews from America and then I can tell you my view on those anyway I hope you have a good evening I've got to go and help poor Matt put the kids to bed because they sound like they're running riots upstairs um, and I will be putting pictures up of the five later tonight on my Instagram which is down below you can just see my cat going into their area that's Arthur um, I'm going to do a couple of scene D vlogs um, just random questions if you've got anything that you want me to answer I'm going to cover why candles because I know it's not everyone's cup of tea um, just little bits and bobs that people might be thinking so I will see you all tomorrow